Shalom. Hope everybody's doing good sitting here at the laundromat and getting some dirty laundry clean. I got something I want to share with you. Um, you know, Eric and I, we live here in Bennettsville, and we have encountered a lot of homeless people here. You know, sad situation. But I want to talk to I want to talk to the Christians for a minute. You are robbing God of his offering, of his tithe, when you take that 10% of your income and you place it in an offering plate to support that man behind the pulpit that's not teaching you the truth because you're too damn lazy to study the word for yourself. See, that's what's wrong with the church. We don't have no Bereans in the church. My pastor said this. My pastor teaches, don't tell me what your pastor said. What does the word say? And the reason you can't tell me what the word says because you don't spend time in the word. You're too lazy. Now, in light of what Yeshua said, what you've done unto the least of these, you've done it unto me. He said, I was in prison, but you didn't visit me. I was hungry, you didn't feed me. I was naked, you didn't clothe me. And they said, when were you sick? When were you in prison that we didn't visit you? That's that's when he said, what you've done unto the least of these, you've done it unto me. See, we can't give 10% to the Levitical priesthood because it's non-existence right now. But when we go back into the millennial reign, it's going to be reestablished. But right now, that 10% that you work for, why can't you feed the hungry? Why can't you clothe the naked? Why can't you help the homeless? Tell your preacher to get off his lazy ass and get a job like everybody else because he's not teaching you the truth. You're paying somebody to lie to you because you're too damn lazy to study the word for yourself. Yeah, I, yeah, you're right. I'm pissed off. Excuse me. I use some slang language. No deal with it. All these churches, every Every one of them's got a kitchen, but they ain't feeding the hungry. I see the way some of y'all walk into church, you, you need to go on a damn diet. Feed the hungry. Do what Yeshua said to do. But then you don't do that because you don't follow him. You don't follow him. Shalom.